Leviticus, chapter 25. And Yahweh speaks to Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak to the sons of Israel, and you have said to them, When you come into the land which I am giving you, then the land has kept a Sabbath to Yahweh. For six years you sow your field, and for six years you prune your vineyard, and have gathered its increase. And in the seventh year is a Sabbath of rest for the land, a Sabbath to Yahweh. You do not sow your field, and you do not prune your vineyard. You do not reap the spontaneous growth of your harvest, and you do not gather the grapes of your separated thing. It is a year of rest for the land, and the Sabbath increase of the land has been for you for food, to you and to your manservant and to your maidservant and to your hired worker and to your settler who are sojourning with you and for your livestock and for the beast which is in your land is all its increase for them to eat. And you have numbered seven Sabbaths of years for yourself, seven times seven years. And the days of the seven Sabbaths of years have been 49 years for you. And you have caused a horn of shouting to pass over in the seventh month, on the tenth of the month, in the day of atonements, you cause a horn to pass over through all your land, and you have hallowed the year, the fiftieth year, and you have proclaimed liberty in the land to all its inhabitants. It is a jubilee for you, and you have turned back each to his possession. Indeed, you return each to his family. It is a jubilee, the fiftieth year, it is a year for you. You do not sow, nor reap its spontaneous growth, nor gather its separated things, for it is a jubilee. It is holy to you. You eat its increase from the field. You return each to his possession in this year of the jubilee. And when you sell anything to your fellow, or buy from the hand of your fellow, you do not oppress one another. You buy from your fellow by the number of years after the jubilee, He sells to you by the number of years of increase. You multiply its price according to the multitude of the years, and you diminish its price according to the fewness of the years. For it is a number of increases that he is selling to you, and you do not oppress one another, and you have been afraid of your God, for I am your God, Yahweh. And you have done my statutes, and you keep my judgments and have done them, and you have dwelt on the land confidently. And the land has given its fruit, and you have eaten to satiety, and have dwelt confidently on it. And when you say, What do we eat in the seventh year? Behold, we do not sow nor gather our increase. Then I have commanded my blessing on you in the sixth year, and it has made the increase for three years. And you have sown in the eighth year, and have eaten of the old increase. You eat the old until the ninth year, until the coming of its increase. And the land is not sold to extinction, for the land is mine, for you are sojourners and settlers with me. And in all the land of your possession, you give a redemption for the land. When your brother becomes poor and has sold his possession, then his Redeemer, who is near to him, has come, and he has redeemed the sold thing of his brother. And when a man has no Redeemer and his own hand has attained means, and he has found it as sufficient for its redemption, then he has reckoned the years of its sale and have given back that which is over to the man to whom he sold it, and he has returned to his possession. And if his hand has not found sufficiency to give back to him, then his sold thing has been in the hand of him who buys it until the year of jubilee, and it has gone out in the jubilee, and he has returned to his possession. And when a man sells a dwelling house in a walled city, then his right of redemption has been until the completion of a year from its selling. His right of redemption is during these days. And if it is not redeemed to him until the fullness of a perfect year, then the house which is in a walled city has been established to extinction to him buying it. Throughout his generations, it does not go out in the jubilee. And a house of the villages, which have no surrounding wall, is reckoned on the field of the country. There is redemption for it, and it goes out in the jubilee. As for cities of the Levites, houses of their cities, of their possession, continued redemption is for the Levites. As for him who redeems from the Levites, then the sale of a house, 
and in the city of his possession, has gone out in the jubilee, for the houses of the cities of the Levites are their possession in the midst of the sons of Israel. And a field, a outskirt of their cities, is not sold, for it is a continuous possession for them. And when your brother has become poor, and his hand has failed with you, then you have kept hold on him, sojourner and settler, and he has lived with you. You take no usury or increase from him, and you have been afraid of your God, and your brother has lived with you. You do not give your money to him in usury, and you do not give your food for increase. I am your God Yahweh, who has brought you out of the land of Egypt to give the land of Canaan to you, to become your God. And when your brother becomes poor with you, and he has been sold to you, you do not lay servile service on him. He is as a hired worker and as a settler with you. He serves with you until the year of Jubilee. Then he has gone out from you, he and his sons with him, and has turned back to his family, and he turns back to the possession of his fathers. For they are my servants, whom I have brought out from the land of Egypt. They are not sold with the sale of a servant. You do not rule over him with rigor, and you have been afraid of your God. And your manservant and your handmaid, whom you have, are from the nations who are around you. You buy manservant and handmaid from them, and also from the sons of the settlers who are sojourning with you. You buy from them and from their families who are with you, which they have begotten in your land, and they have been to you for a possession. And you have taken them for an inheritance for your sons after you, to inherit for a possession. You lay service on them for all time. But on your brothers, the sons of Israel, each with his brother, you do not rule over him with rigor. And when the hand of a sojourner or a settler with you attains riches, and your brother with him has become poor, and he has been sold to a sojourner, a settler with you, or to the root of the family of a sojourner, after he has been sold, there is a right of redemption for him. One of his brothers redeems him, or his uncle, or a son of his uncle redeems him, or any of the relations of his flesh, of his family, redeems him. Or if his own hand has attained means, then he has been redeemed, and he has reckoned with his buyer from the year of his being sold to him until the year of Jubilee, and the money of his sale has been by the number of years. It is with him as the days of a hired worker. If many years still remain, he gives back his redemption money according to them from the money of his purchase. And if few are left of the years until the jubilee, then he has reckoned with him and gives back his redemption money according to his years. As a hired worker, year by year, he is with him, and he does not rule him with rigor before your eyes. And if he is not redeemed in these years, then he has gone out in the year of jubilee, he and his sons with him. For the sons of Israel are servants to me. They are my servants, whom I have brought out of the land of Egypt. I am your God, Yahweh.